first of all, we do a lot of SEO with people and also help uh, clients with content marketing. And when you look at uh, um, the kinds of things that Google cares about, uh, you inevitably get into, especially if you look at older papers, people talking about links to your site and stuff like that. And, and, and it's definitely incredibly important. Um, but uh, also you'll see a lot of chatter in the past few years about Google and machine learning and how it's going to change everything. SEO as we know it was going to be blown up and thrown away and start all over again. And it's all wrong, of course. Um, uh, what's in fact going to happen is, and it is already happening, Google is getting much better at assessing what the relevance is of your content to a particular user search query, the quality of your content, and how much people appear to like it. Uh, and when you delve into content marketing, and you look at you know potentially doing that both on and off site, you're actually really digging into sending out the right kinds of signals in all those areas. So that's what we hope to talk about today is really draw out for the listeners, uh, uh, you know, just uh, how they can do that successfully. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, just there you mentioned about on site and off site um, content marketing and its its power today. Why 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 does it have that role um, in, in search right now? Well, it is worth actually, you know, I already mentioned it, you know, stepping back to links being a big part of the algorithm for Google and they are still a big part of the algorithm, but you'll see a lot of stories out there telling you that links don't matter anymore. They're getting less and less important. What people tend to ignore is a fundamental aspect of what it is that makes links important. So, uh, and, and I'm going to give you a way to uh, internalize it or to get some intuition as to why they might be so important. So, let's say I come to you, and let's say I'm interviewing you, Liam, and my question for you is, so Liam, tell me what budget your boss gave you for implementing things on your site that would cause people to leave it and go to someone else's site? What's the budget? Tell me. <laughs> um, um, a thousand. <laughs> so, of course, nobody has a budget for that, right? It's yeah, not, well, it should be zero, right? Because you don't want that kind of thing happening. <laughs> right. But well, when you put a link on your site, mm. which isn't because part of an ad or something like that, you're literally inviting people to leave your site. Uh, and and by the way, some people do click on it, and presumably, if you've cited it because it's a good resource then that will have some benefit back to you and the goodwill you build with that audience. There is no other signal like this on the web, period. None. Social media doesn't count. It's not your site, right? Uh, so um, that's, what, that's the fundamental underlying reason why it just makes sense for links to remain a powerful part of the Google algorithm. So. When you talk about um, you know, content marketing, one of the things you're trying to do in the process is attract attention to your business, part of which will be links and other signals. But we'll talk about that when we get further into the conversation. 